Hello, Jose Luis. Good evening. Hello, Wilbur. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Let me see. Okay, well, most of your friends are connecting already. And we are going to start our class. Welcome to another class. Today is our class number five. And we are going to have a lot of practice today. We're going to practice a lot, of, a lot of writing today. Today is going to be a day full of writing. So it is a pleasure to have you here. Aleida, Hernan, welcome. How was your weekend, my dear students? Hello, can you listen to me? Hello, teacher. Okay, how was your weekend? Mm, it was very busy. <laughs> Very busy. Yes, a lot of um, homeworks to do. A lot of homework. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It, it was just like one or two. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am just kidding. <laughs> okay, and the kids are not at school anymore, so they cannot be homework from the kids. No, no, no. I know how to. Hi. Do you see? That's even better. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, I'm, I am still having my, my dinner. That is the reason that I don't turn on the, the camera. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Mm, thank you. Finish your pupusas. <laughs> okay. My breast with casito. <laughs> oh, my, my stuff, um, stuff bread, you say, like pane relleno, but you don't, you don't say yeah. re rellenos with what? So you say, oh, I am eating a stuffed bread. It's like, oh, pane it's relleno. Yes, oh. of bread, but with cheese, with beans, with with anything. Oh, that's great! Thank you for uh, the new the new vocabulary, the new word, right? It is yeah. common that they say that it's a, a stuffed bread when you put chicken or turkey or something, and you buy the pan relleno, right? But here in El Salvador, we have a lot of versions of stuffed breads. Yes, that's right. Yeah. What about your weekend, teacher? Well, working a lot. I have classes on Saturday morning, afternoon, on Sunday morning. So it's very busy. Yes, that's too much work. Uh, it's because that's, as I am the principal of the place where I work. So it's a lot of responsibilities to be taking care of the oh. teachers and the students and a lot of things. So yeah, so they, they are, these are the disadvantages of the position. Yeah, it, it is very good. It is very good, right? That is the the part, the bad part to the be bad. an important, <laughs> to be an important person. Yeah, because in other cases you are just like you just disappear. <laughs> yeah. You are like invisible the whole day. You can disconnect all your um. Yeah, you uh, just your Facebook, your email. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, but it's impossible there. They are like, Miss, Miss Nati, mire, Miss Nati, no sé qué, Miss Nati, se no sé qué, Miss Nati, me ayuda, Miss Nati, no sé qué. And it's like, I am like, all the day. And I it's, a, it's, it's every day the same. Hello, Horacio. Hello, Carlitos, Mr. Rafael, Rafael Alexander. Welcome to your class today. I hope you rest on this weekend. <laughs> Good evening. I hope you had the opportunity to rest and for sure to recharge your batteries because we are going to have a full week this week. There is no vacation this week. So you're not going to be like in, in my holiday teacher. No, no, no. We don't have holidays this week. Hoy no hay día de muertos. So we have to go straight on the five days. Today we are going to work a little bit on job applications right? We have been talking about the different forms of an interview. We started on the previous class with how to go over an interview. And today we are going to work a little bit on the written form of job applications, right? We are going to be finishing 
unit number one today. As we have only four weeks, we have only four units. So we are going to try to finish one unit each week. And we're going to uh, be over with this. You see, it's so fast. My God, I mean, we are in the in, almost in unit number two, week number two. It's like everything is running so fast. So we need to take advantage of the time. So today we're going to start our class. I am going to ask Horacio to help me with the agreements of the class. Can you help me to read them, please? I cannot listen to you, sweetie. Horacio, I cannot listen to you. Try to unplug the audio and use the audio from the computer. Nothing. Ah, salvado por Zoom. <laughs> Hernán, can you help me with the agreements, please? <laughs> good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay. Uh, class agreement. Uh, number one, practice your English as much as possible. Number two, ask for help uh, when needed. And uh, number three, uh, keep your uh, keep your camera on all the time. Number four, uh, quit ma microphone off if we are not using them. Number five, attend all your session on time. Number six, uh, participate uh, as much as possible. Number six, keep and cooperative activity during class. Eight, number eight, uh, collaborate with your friend on the, what, uh, on the WhatsApp group. And number nine, work on the platform for every day. Okay, thank you very much, Hernan. Thank you, claps for Hernan. Yeah, he did a very good effort to read it. Remember, I will read them for you. I will ask each day to, a, a different person to read them. The idea is that we practice as much as possible. So the next day you don't make the same mistakes, okay? Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help when needed. Keep your cameras on all the time. Keep microphones off if we are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group and work on the platform every day, right? Remember them because tomorrow a different person is going to read them. So my dear class, we are going to start uh, by talking a little bit of the highlights about your weekend. I need you to choose something specific that you really like about this weekend. Choose something specific that you really like about your weekend. That is a highlight. A highlight is something that you want to just to mark that it was really good, right? To highlight. ¿Se han fijado los, los plumones que ocupamos para los libros? Que son como de colores neón y todas esas cosas. ¿Los conocen? Sí, vean. Esos se llaman highlighters porque los ocupamos para marcar lo importante. So highlight, it means to enhance or to remark something that was good specifically about the weekend. Okay, highlights about your weekend. What did you like the most? Think about it. And I need you to choose one thing that you really like about your weekend. I am going to tell you my highlight. My highlight was the following. Yesterday, I had a movie day with my song. We had a movie here at home. We made popcorn and soda and everything. So we made like the movie here in my house. And I really enjoyed the movie. We laugh a lot and we had a very good time. So that's my highlight of the weekend. That was my favorite part. What was your favorite part of the weekend? Okay, think about it because you are going to be in groups of three. So you can actually share it with your friends 
and I am going to bring you back in a moment. Piensen en ese momento del fin de semana que más le gustó. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Por qué fue especial? And you are going to share it with your friends. Lo van a compartir con sus compañeros. Okay? Groups of three. Just in a very private moment for you to share what was good about the day. Okay? So, we are going to go to the groups. Creo que ya todos lo tienen listo. Think about it. It's not necessary to write it, but practice your English. Remember, it has to be in English. And it's going to be super quick. Okay? We're going to come back in a moment. Let's go to the rooms right now. Thank you. Magdiel, Carlita, did you receive my invitation to go to the to the rooms? Carlita, I have you two times connected. Okay. Hola Carlita, este... Hola. Es que me, me sacó al momento de unirme en el grupo, me sacó de, de Zoom. But ahorita la vuelvo a mandar al grupo, no tenga pena. Okay, okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, I went, I went at the river with my son and my wife. And, and we, we it, um, how do you say, estuvimos comiendo, teacher? Uh, we, in that case, you, if you want to say what, what were you eating, you say like, we ate, and you say what? We ate chicken, we ate fish. Oh. So we ate. Um, um, what did you eat? Bread and with soda. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Salvadorian mm. snack. Yes, snacks. Um, we have we have taken a shower in the river. Okay, we no. say we shower in the river. Okay, we shower. Or in you river. can say like, if it is not like a big thing, you say like, 
We took a bath. No bañamos. We took a bath in the river. We okay. took a bath. Good. We went to the river, you say, to the river. Okay. And to which river did you go? Mm, ¿A, no qué, ¿A qué río fueron? No, no es conocido, no es, es el que pasa cerca, de, is, is near, near at, the, at home. Oh, you see, another level of life. I don't have a river near my home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get, let me cross a teacher. <laughs> yes, no, no, no problem. My, my private no, river. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, no, es peligroso, como digo, no es. It's not dangerous. It's not dangerous. Okay, good, very good. Okay, finish sharing and I will check on the next group, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it was hard. Was some it was hard. hard experience. Yes, was some hard because she was sick, but uh, some some Sundays was funny because I went, I go to, to the park, I go to the beach and I go out always, always with her and my friends. But now I take a rest and I stay at home because he was sick and I can't and and I can't go out because I I have to take her take care of her take okay. care of her you say take care of her yeah but some some sunny some Sundays uh, I go to another place that I that I can <laughs> I, I yeah and, and I say, okay, bye-bye. I'm going to go out and <laughs> see you Monday. See you oh another my. day. <laughs> I have to go to have a break and bye. And, yeah. and my family and my family say me, oh, you never, you never stay at home. And I say, <laughs> I, I stay at home at night. I'm going to sleep and now I'm going to go out. I need a break. <laughs> it's good take, yeah take it's advantage of, of now that you can do it because <laughs> later on you cannot do it anymore <laughs> yeah so okay. I, I don't remember when yeah, was the last I'm, time I'm that I did that <laughs> um, no and, and I'm saying I'm work I'm work to 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 have money for fun <laughs> for, for enjoy <laughs> to enjoy <laughs> To enjoy, yeah. right? Okay, good. good. And, okay, to enjoy, and yeah. only that. Okay, excellent. I hope your uh, your daughter, daughter, is uh -huh. your daughter, right? Yes, yeah, daughter. Is getting better. Yeah. Okay, thank you. She <laughs> she's going to she's going to be better. <laughs> yeah, okay. hopefully she's going to be better soon. Okay, thank you. Okay, my dear class, we are going to go back to the main session right now. Okay. And okay. let's go. Thank you for sharing with me about your okay, days. Okay, thank you. Hello, Raul. You say I am the only one in the class. <laughs> Really? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. Well, right now I'm I am I am not in my house, but I I go. You are going. going okay, yeah. that's a, that's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. But it's Give good. Give me a little, maybe ten minutes, and I and I okay. connect. But yeah. currently, I I connect with my cell phone okay don't worry don't worry i know you are buying the coca in the skin you are you are waiting for the pupusas right that's why you don't want to turn on the camera <laughs> niña mari niña mari give the pupusas to raul because he has a class <laughs> no well today uh, i i have i i went to to a party with some 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 uh, co-workers co-workers 
<laughs> it's okay. So it's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just work. I was just bothering you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to your coworkers. <laughs> okay. No, but, but but right now I am I am alone. Ah, okay. Ya, yeah, yeah. la esposa de Raúl, escucha, él viene solo en el carro, don't worry. No, okay. Ah, okay, so don't worry about anything. Thank you very much. You can keep the party, don't worry. Okay, my dear class, thank you very much for sharing uh, about the highlights of your day. Sorry, I was fighting here. So <laughs> I am going to call the attendance and then we're going to go over the topic of the day. So remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? Aleida? Here, teacher. Andrea Sofia? Siempre, siempre cuidando de mí. Blanca, Present. Ale Thank you. Blanca Alejandra? Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo? Here, teacher. Okay, Cesar Romero? Okay, let's continue with Ellen, Ellen Nilsson Aparicio. Present teacher. Eric Jose. Present teacher. Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Horacio Jose. Present teacher. Jose Luis. Jose Luis Ramos. Juan Francisco. Carla Flores. Nelson Alberto. Here, teacher. Rafael Alexander. Present, teacher. Rafael Antonio. I am here, teacher. Paola Elena. And Raúl Ernesto. I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Wilber Alberto. Present. Jasmine Elizabeth. And Magdiel Lesau. Present, Chair. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. <clears throat> Let's work. Let me see. Ah, Carlita Flores is right here. Yes, for sure. And Paola, hello. Okay, now I mark you here. Uh, did I miss anybody? Alguien que no lo mencioné? All of you. Okay, so as I was telling you before, we are going to work a little bit on the job applications, right? So we are going to use the book today. If you have your book at hand, take it because we are going to use it. Here on the book today, let me just share it. This is what we did uh, in the last class and I gave you a homework. I gave you a homework in the last class. Do you remember? the little homework that you had to do about the sentences? Yes or no? Here it is. I gave you this little homework for you to complete with four scenes and ego. In this case, we have sentence number one. Who wants to help me with this one? Who wants to give me the answer for sentence number one? Me. Go ahead. Continue, continue. <laughs> okay. So the first one you say is? Since. Since, right? Since. Since. Very good. So they know each other since secondary school. Here you have. Sam and Emma, remember when I tell you to give me the answer is the complete sentence, right? Not only the, the, the answer. Sam and Emma have known each other since secondary school. Nelson, number two. Okay, I went to Costa Rica almost 10 years ago. 10, 10 years ago, very good. 10 years, sorry. <laughs> very good, Ten, 10 is another thing. Number three, who wants to help me with number three? Me. Go ahead. Carlos. Uh, where have you been? I've been waiting for you for over an hour. For over an hour. Very good. I have been waiting for you for over an hour. 
Maybe he's from El Salvador, right? They say like, I am just very close to the place and they are still in the house. Number four, who wants to help me with number four? Okay, number Maybe four. Her. Thank you, Aleida, and then, okay, first Aleida, go ahead. Okay, I haven't been feeling very well since I ate the chicken two days ago. <laughs> okay, I haven't been feeling well. I haven't feel, okay, my God, nothing. <laughs> I haven't been feeling very well since I ate that chicken <laughs> two days ago. That is a very common thing. And people say, no te lo comas, se ve raro. <laughs> Nothing is going to happen <sighs> later on. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, how do you say, lo que no mata engorda? <laughs> <laughs> what, doesn't, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But what in Salvador, kill you make you stronger, okay? In El Salvador, it doesn't apply. It's like, ese tamal ya lleva como 15 días en la reference. It's okay. <laughs> and you die. Number five, please. Hernan, go ahead. Uh, how long uh, ago did it happen? How long ago? Very good. How long okay. ago did it happen? Did it happen? Did it happen? Did it happen? Very good. Okay. How long ago did it happen? It is like hace cuánto sucedió, right? The next one. Imagine if you say like, "Hey, there is an accident here in what? In El? How are you? Ah, oh, how long did it happen? Right? That's a very common thing every day." One hour ago, you say. Okay, so another one, number six. Who wants to help me with number six? Number six. Can I? Rafael, you? please go ahead. Okay, Monica has been driving since she was 18. Since, very good, since. And that's a very common mistake to say since. It's since. Thank you very much. Jose Luis, the next one. Number seven. We have this problem for quite a long time. For quite a long time. Very good job. For quite a long time. Ya lleva su rato, right? We have had this problem for quite a long time, but you don't want to fix it. The next one, number eight. Ellen Nielsen, do you have it? Yes, teacher. Uh, they, they've been living there since 2011. Since 2011, very good. They've been living here, uh, there. They've been living there since 2011. Number nine. Mr. Chair. Go ahead, please, Magdiel. We're hoping to go to the Tuscany since the summer. Okay, we are hoping to go. It's going to happen in the future. Since is this day. Mm. And in this case, if we use things in this sentence, we don't have to use the. Rafael, what, what do you think? Uh, four. Four. <laughs> this is... This is for, in this case is for. ¿Por qué ocupamos for aquí? Porque están esperando ir a Tuscania para el verano. Entonces, si lo hubieran estado esperando desde el verano pasado, no llevaría la palabra te. So you say, we're hoping for, y ahí sería, we have been. We have been. Hemos estado esperando, right? We okay. have been hoping to go to Tuscany since summer, right? Desde el verano pasado hemos estado esperando. So this is the only difference Be okay. but, because in this case, it's for the future, okay? For the summer, very good. Number 10, Rafael Antonio, do you have it? Uh, it was a wonderful experience. We remember it seen. Okay. In this case, si le ponemos things, 
a este sería, fue una maravillosa experiencia, la vamos a recordar desde el resto de nuestras vidas. No, no. It, for, <laughs> ok. <laughs> sí. For. <laughs> you say, for, we will remember it for the rest. <laughs> Ya, protégeme, señor. Ya, protégeme, protégeme, señor, de la respuesta. For the rest of our lives, right? We will remember it for the rest of our lives. Ya, yeah, the TikTok is very famous, you will see. Number 11. Number 11 is going to be for... Chan, chan, chan. Carlita, can you help me with number 11? No. I go. Long ago. Very good. There was a beautiful prince called Lily. Okay. Long ago, there was a beautiful Long princess ago. called Lily. Very good. Long ago. He's like, hace tiempo. Right? And the last one, Paola, please. It's been snowing almost nonstop. Good evening. Uh, it's been snowing almost nonstop uh, for last night. Aha. Para ayer en la noche. What do you need to use here? No ha parado de nevar. Since. 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 Very good Since. job, right? Since last night. <coughs> okay, it's been snowing almost non-stop since last night. So these were the sentences that we were supposed to complete for our homework, right? The first one is like this and please i need you to open your microphone it's going to be a little bit noisy but we're going to repeat all together oh my god where did i go ah wait sorry 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 i just ruined everything here oh my god okay wait <laughs> they, they, they didn't want me to practice with you commercial don't worry And here it is. There you go. Good. Everybody open your microphone and go and practice with me. The sentence goes like this. Sam and Emma have known each other since secondary school. Sam and Sam Emma have, have known each other since secondary school. Sam and Emma have known each other since secondary school. Sam and Emma Did you in secondary school? Okay. Did you know that Sam and Emma have known each other since secondary school? Did you know that Sam and Emma have known each other since secondary school? Go ahead. Did you know Sam and Emma have known each other since secondary school? Uh -huh. You see, we are very good at, at passing information. So the same has to be in English, because imagine if you just, in English, if you just practice the reading of the sentences, cuando de veras vengan a compartir información en inglés, van a sonar como robotsitos. Sam and Emma have known each other since secondary school. And it has to be normal. Hagan de caso que me lo están contando a mí. Okay? Lean la primera oración como que me la estuvieran contando y díganme, teacher, did you know? Vamos, one, two, three. Imagínense que es chambre, me lo están contando. Teacher, did you know that Sam and, and, and Emma have known each other since secondary school? Really? Ajá, yeah. so you see, it, gets, it creates interest. Les crea el interés, les crea la curiosidad de preguntar más allá. Si me dicen, Sam and Emma have known each other since secondary school. What? Off. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay, so, pa pasen, pasenme el chambre y cuéntenme. Teacher, did you know that? Go ahead. Okay. Teacher, did you know that? Teacher, did you know that? Really? I didn't know that. Wow. <laughs> so it's good. Say, tell me, do you know Costa Rica? Have you ever been there? I went to Costa Rica almost 10 years, years ago. No, pero Teacher, cuenta. I went to Costa Rica almost 10 years ago. <laughs> very good job, very good job. 
cuéntenmelo como que de veras me lo quieren contar, así como, teacher, nombre, si usted no sabe, I went to Costa Rica almost 10 years ago, I bet that you don't know Costa Rica, yo apuesto que ustedes no conocen Costa Rica, nah. Teacher, I went to Costa Rica 10 years. I told you, I went to Costa Rica almost 10 years almost ago. Almost 10 years ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I went to Costa Rica. Yeah, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. tell me. <laughs> Hello, Raúl. <laughs> Hello. Now I, I am in my house. <laughs> okay, very good. Algo chapudito lo miro. <laughs> okay, oh. copia la playa. <laughs> yeah. Ajá, uh -huh, students, where have you been? I have been waiting for you for over an hour. You are the angry boyfriend or the angry girlfriend. And I'm Imagine just appearing. Ajá. <laughs> Vamos todos, todos al mismo tiempo. Ajá. Ustedes están Where have you been? Where, you? Where, Where have you been? been? been you for you over an hour. For over an hour. An hour. Ah, no, no me convencen. No, no, no. no les diría dónde estoy. <laughs> Ajá. Carlos, tell me. Se enojó Carlos y me está esperando por una hora. Ajá, vamos, Carlos Eduardo. Uh, where have you been? I'm waiting for you over an hour. Uh, I was buying you this new cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Magdiel, the angry Magdiel. Ajá, no ha llegado la esposa. Una hora la tiene esperando. Where have you been? I waiting for you. I waiting for you for over an hour. <laughs> yeah, I wish my husband would say that to me. <laughs> no, okay. you're very, you're very happy, Rafael. Uh, where are you being? I waiting for you over an hour. Oh my God! Uh huh. Nelson, the angry Nelson. Uh huh. Mojado, <laughs> indocumentado. Mm, where have you been? I waiting for you for over an hour. Mm, ah, sorry, I, I was just, I walk here. <laughs> I Rafael. feel asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep. Rafael Antonio, go ahead, read it. One, one number. Where have you been? Number two. Oh, number three. Number three. Oh, number three. Number three. Where have you been? I've been waiting for you for over an hour. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> okay, so that's the idea of the sentences. You see how important pronunciation is? Imagínense que ustedes estuvieran bien enojados con alguien. Alguien llega una hora después y usted le dice, where have you been? I have been waiting for you for an hour. Ah, it's like, no, right? So you say, where have you been? I have been waiting for you for over an hour. It has been here. I mean, all the food is cold already. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> now the, the sick you okay usted llegan al doctor enfermos and you are going to say I, I haven't been feeling very well since I ate that chicken two days ago right you are not going to go to the doctor and say doctor I haven't been feeling very well since I ate that chicken two days ago but I'm fine I won't die no right <laughs> go ahead read it with me I haven't been feeling well since I ate that chicken two days ago. Go, go, go. Read with me. Vamos, leámosla. I haven't been feeling very well. well. I haven't been feeling very well. I haven't been feeling very well. I ate that chicken two days ago. Two days ago. Mm, okay. <gasps> People, there is an accident outside my house. How long ago did it happen? Okay, just a minute ago. How long ago did it happen? 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 Did it happen? Did it happen? Very good. How long ago did it happen? Okay, Monica is a very experienced driver. Do you know why? Yes, because Monica has been driving since she was 18. Okay. You see, now you have a different way to read the sentence. <clears throat> you see, people, we need to talk. I'm very sorry, but we need to talk. We have had this problem for quite a long time. We have had this problem for quite a long time. Go ahead. 
we have this problem for quite a long time. We have this problem for quite a long time. We have this problem for quite a long time. We have to have. We have this problem. We have this problem for quite a long time. We have this problem for quite a long time. Remember that here we have, we have had. We have had this problem. We have had this problem for quite a long time. Okay, people, are these new neighbors? I have never seen them. Are these new neighbors? They've been there since 2011. Since 2011. Ya, eso pueden decir mis vecinos de mí. Is she new? <laughs> because they never see me. They have been living there since 2011. <laughs> ¿Quién es la señora nueva? <laughs> Una que habla inglés todas las noches. <laughs> They've been living there since 2011. Number nine. We're hoping to go to Tuscany for the summer. Tuscany for the summer. We're hoping to go to Tuscany for the summer. We're hoping to go to Tuscany for the summer. Where are you going to go on vacations? We are hoping to go to Tuscany for the summer. Tell me, how was your first class in English Corporativo? It was a wonderful was a experience. experience. We remember, for, we remember it for the best of our lives. Okay, let me see. I am going to choose one. Mr. Eric Jose, how was your first date? Uh, it was wonderful experience. 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 <laughs> we remember it for the rest of our lives. Okay, very good. Mr. Hernan, how was your wedding? Number 10? Yes. I was, I was a wonderful experience. We will remember it for the rest of our life. Gracias. Turn on the microphone. Y ese es el secreto de la vida eterna. What was the question for Hernán? Sí. Hello? What was the question that I did for Hernán? Así están bien. Para que me contestaran la, la respuesta 10. How was your wedding? Wedding. How was your wedding? Wedding. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta -ta -ta. The wedding. The wedding. ¿Cómo fue tu boda? It was a wonderful experience that I will remember for the rest of my life, right? It is funny that they say, ah, it was fantastic. Y uno está más ocupado en todo, menos en la boda. The next one. Long ago, there was a beautiful princess called Lily. Go with me. Practice with me, class. Long ago, there was a beautiful Long ago, there was a beautiful There was a beautiful There was a beautiful Se lo vamos a contar a un niño chiquito. A un niño chiquito se lo vamos a decir. ¿Cómo se lo diríamos? Long ago, there was a beautiful Long ago, y hasta ustedes cambian su olla. Ven, el inglés tiene esa magia que se acopla a todas las las, las, las edades. Long ago, there was a beautiful princess called Natty. Number 12. It's been snowing almost non-stop since last night. It's been snowing, it's been snowing almost non-stop since last night. Very good job, my dear class. A clap for you. Very good job. What did we learn right now? Pronunciation is very important, right? Because it is not the same to say, okay, that to say, ah, okay, mm, okay, ah, okay, right? Okay, it is not the same. It is not the same to say, do whatever you want. Okay, go ahead, do whatever you want. That your girlfriend says, ah, do whatever you want. It's your choice. It's very, very 
dangerous, ¿ok? Pron pronunciation matters, ¿ok? La pronunciación importa. Importa mucho. En Spanish es like, vaya. En vaya es for everything. <laughs> you don't change it. Dice, ah, vaya. Ve qué bonito. <laughs> it changes a lot. It matters. So pronunciation, it's important. Well, just a little uh, quick icebreaker. And we're going to go over this one. Ta-da! I know you have been, you have done this before. And I am going to give you a letter and you are going to send me on the chat the different answers, okay? I need you to have your pencils ready. Su cuaderno, su, su cuaderno y su lápiz. Vamos, vamos, vamos. I know you have done this before. This is called Stop the Bus. Stop the bus. Teacher, but, yep. uh, we are going to send you the, the answer in the chat. No, no. Let's do it on pa paper and pencil. It's it's faster. Oh, okay, okay. Stop the bus. But it's what you have to say when you have them ready. Okay. Here is not bachera to stop. No, it's like stop the bus. It's in English. I am going to give you the letter and you are going to write a verb, a sport, a fruit, a thing, and a country. Okay. A verb, a sport, a fruit, a thing, and a country with the letter that I am going to give you. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. All the same. Uh, all, with the uh, same. I'm sorry. With the same beginning letter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But all, all of us at the same time. Yes. With, okay. All of you at the same time. And if you yeah, finish, okay. you open the microphone and say, stop the bus. Okay. All of you show me your hands, okay? Si alguien dice stop the bus, todos levantamos las manos, okay? We're going to start with the same, with the first letter. Ready? Okay, okay, okay. Esto es para activarles el cerebro a todos. Chin, chin, chin. The letter. Sí. Go ahead. Letter C, verb, a sport, a fruit, thing, and country. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Okay, hands up, todos. Hands up. <laughs> hands up. Hands up. Good, good, good. Horacio, tell us the verb well, with C. Good. Very good. Cut, Sport. right? Cut, 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 cut. Sport. Clean wall. Clean wall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Clean. Okay. I will. I will accept it because you have climb. But climb it's... wall. Okay, but it's wall climbing. Oh. <laughs> okay, climb. But you have climb. That's okay. Another sport with C. ¿Quién más tiene otro deporte con C? Uh -huh. ¿Alguien más que tenía un deporte con C? Besides climbing. No. Cycling. Cycling. Yeah, it can be cycling. Cycling. Good. Okay. It's, uh, I think it's cycling like this. Cycling. Uh, you also have car racing. Car racing. Right. You have a different sport there. Fruit with C. Cucumber. Cucumber. Okay. Fruit or vegetable. Cucumber. Another fruit with C, people. Cherry. Coconut. 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 Coconut cherry. Very good. What else? Uh, Carrot. Oh, sorry. Uh huh. Ah, thing. Uh huh. Tell me a thing with C. Uh, cutter. A cutter. Good. Very good. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell good. Phone. What a chandelier. else? Cut. A chandelier. Good. A candle. What else? Okay, let's see the next one. A country with Z. Chile. Chile. 
Costa Canada. Rica. Costa Rica, Canadá, Cuba, Colombia. Good, very good, very good. Cuba, Cuba. Very good job. Excellent. Clap for you. Very nice. The next one. Here I don't have winners or losers. The idea is that you activate your brain. The next letter is letter. An easy one. B. Go ahead. Remember when you finish, you say stop the bus. With B. B, 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 B. Stop the bus. Let's stop the bus. Hands up, everybody. Hands up, hands up. Manita arriba, Raúl. Nadie me vence. Good. Let's see. Raúl, the verb. Her, B. B, for sure. <laughs> the verb B with B. Very good. Sport? Uh, baseball. Baseball. Very good. Another sport with baseball? Basketball. Basketball. <laughs> No, that is for with, <laughs> with me. <laughs> Basketball. Boxeo. Volleyball. Boxing. No, volleyball oh. is with me. <laughs> <laughs> volleyball is with me. Okay, very good. Boxing. Fruit with me. Banana. Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry. Blackberry. Good. Very good. Uh, beans. Uh, it's a vegetable, but it's B, right? A thing with B. Bus. The bus, stop the bus, bus. Another <laughs> thing would be? Bicycle. A bicycle, good, very good. And a country would be? Bolivia. Bolivia. Brazil. 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 And? Belize. Belize, very good, very good. Okay, the last one for the night. And then we move to the next one. The letter. M. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Los dedos del oeste. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Letter M. Uh -huh. I, I thought that you have finished. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Hands up. Hands up. Bonita arriba. Nadie más escribe. Hands up. <laughs> it's okay. Raul, a verb with M. Move. Move, very good. Another verb with M. Make. Make. Mm -hmm. Move and make, only those two. Mary. Mar Mary, March. Okay, Mark. Nurse. Nurse with M. Con M. A sport with S. Motocross. Motocross, very good. Motocross, another sport with M. Otro deporte con M. Yeah. Marching. Yeah. Mar <laughs> marching. Marching. Good, marching. Marathon. Marathon, good. Marathon, very good. Martial arts. Right, very good. Fruit with M. Mango. Mango. Another one? Don't say me loco. Mandarin. Mandarin. <laughs> tangerine. They are called tangerine. Tangerine. La, la mandarinas in English are tangerines. Tangerines uh, with T. Tangerine. Melon. melon. Very good. Melon. Okay. Tangerine. These are uh, mandarinas in English. The next one. A thing with M. Mobile. A mobile phone. Hello. A melon, a motor, right? Good. Motorcycle. A, a motorcycle, good. A country with M. Mexico. 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 Morocco. Morocco. Uh-huh. Just that. <laughs> Just, 
<laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, my dear students. A clap for you. You did a very good job on this one. This is a very nice activator for your brain. It works a lot very well. And you can do it with a almost every single letter of the alphabet. Almost every letter of the alphabet. Cuando se aburran de repente o estén esperando ahí en el seguro pasar consulta, saquen un papel y hagan el ejercicio. Good. Let's continue then. <clears throat> Here I have a little exercise that I have for the class. And it is called, let me just move this. It is called Read, Think, and Share. Okay. This is called Read, Think, and Share. And what we're going to do is that I am going to ask you different questions and you're going to give me what is your opinion. And here I have from one to five, the answers, right? Number one is I disagree completely. Number two, I mostly disagree. Number three, I am not sure. Number four, I mostly agree. Or number five, I agree completely. So number five is the top and number one is the list. I am going to give you the statement and you answer number one, two, three, four, or five. Or you can give me the answer. You say like, no teacher, that's not fun or that's not good. No teacher, I don't agree with that, right? You can give me the answer or you can give me the number, okay? So my dear class, what do you think? Working is fun. Uh -huh. Number three. <laughs> I mostly agree. I'm not sure. Oh, I, I mostly agree. I, I, mostly disagree. Agree. I disagree completely. Depends. Depends on your job because I can say that for me, this work, I love it. I mean, I, I love this job, this one. And the other one too, but it's more serious, it's more difficult, it's more uh, obligatory. But this is something that I really love. It's so like, I will say five for this one and three for the other one. So working is fun. Mm. Who really loves his or her job? ¿A quién le gusta de verdad lo que hace? Su trabajo. Okay. Okay, Wilbur. So you say five. That it will be. I am. I like my work. Okay, Rafael Antonio, you like your job as well. It is easy to find a job. Not in this country. <laughs> uh -huh, so I you have disagree to disagree completely. Mostly disagree. Completely. Okay. I you have to disagree. be lucky. <laughs> lucky or a very good friend of someone, right? I disagree completely. I mostly disagree. Doctors have great jobs. Mm -hmm. Doctors have great jobs. What do you think? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mostly agree. I'm going I mostly to agree. Give you a three. Mm. <laughs> I That's disagree the completely. I disagree completely, right? I disagree. Yeah. Depending if they really love their job, maybe it's a five, but for the rest, poor of them. Number, I mostly agree. I mostly agree. Really? Uh, I'm, uh -huh. uh, that did depend. How do you say what, uh, okay. In your case, as a teacher, as, as a priest, as a doctor, uh, it's not only do you like it, it's, how do you say uh, when, uh, Como que se trae la voc vocación. Es, es, ah, es. <laughs> it, it is born, it is born with you. you say, or you say like you enjoy it. Lo disfrutas, mm -hmm. right? Lo traes mm -hmm. consigo. You bring it with you. That is like the, eh, 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 la vocación es como. Yeah, okay. when, when you have the call, that is the, when, when, when you want to express that, it's like when you have the call. The call is like cuando tienes la vocación, cuando tienes el llamado a hacer, mm. right? When okay. you have the call. Mm. Yeah, in that case, yes. Okay. The next one. Being a farmer is better than being a fisherman. Ser un granjero es mejor que ser un pescador. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure. I disagree completely. <laughs> you disagree I'm completely. Not Why? Sure. I'm not sure. It's more rentable. Okay, it's more rentable. Good being a fisherman. Good. Librarians have boring jobs. I agree completely. I agree completely. Mm. Okay. No, I am not agree. I am. I, I, am agree. I agree sure completely. I agree completely. Right? Okay, if you say in this case, I disagree oh, no, completely. No, no, sorry, not uh -huh. sure. No, no. Okay. I. Uh huh. I. I, dis I disagree. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. From. Uh, from books okay that's good right it depends on how much you like books or not right yeah. because in this case you have to be careful it says librarians have boring jobs si ustedes me dicen I agree completely es que si sí, tienen un trabajo aburridísimo oh, but if you yes. say I disagree completely es que están como Woo, another book yay, yay. yeah I disagree completely in my case <laughs> Okay, you disagree completely. I love reading, so I will be a very happy librarian. The next okay. one, clowns do, 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 have great jobs. I agree completely. <laughs> I agree completely. Okay, yeah, as you I say that, you disagree. In this country, I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> poor clowns. I, sure. I disagree yeah. completely. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to make people laugh. You don't know if it's going to laugh or it's going to say, my God, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I have that's been- Remember me a poem. <clears throat> Which one? Call the Rey Llorando. Ah, Rey ah, yeah. That. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's uh, a, good, a good poem. So- Someone wanna uh, read you. Uh, I read it is uh, Rey Llorando. Okay, so you see, mm -hmm. reír llorando. It's a beautiful poem. I, I know, I, I have read, I, I think I have read it like once, uh, yeah, only once. I will look for it again. So clowns have a very difficult job here. Yes. Here and in all the countries, right? Yeah, yo he trabajado eso dos veces. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a, for a, it was like a social event that all the coordinators had to be dressed up like clowns and it's very difficult. Yeah, yo see unos pintacaritas ahí de, ah, hijo, ahí está tu carita feliz. Yeah, ahí está. <laughs> it, was, it was very difficult. Yeah. So, tenía un amigo que estaba haciendo unos Batman, unos Batman pero los hacía como que era Paloma de Castilla. <laughs> <laughs> it was so horrible. Y después los niños llorando, mami, I said a Batman. <laughs> Será canario entonces. It was so horrible. Then you can have poor kids. Yeah, si alguno de los niños ya creció y me está viendo, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Having an interesting job is more important than a well-paid job. Having an interesting job is more important than a well-paid job. It depends the country. No, here in our country. This is our country. Nah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Not I sure. disagree. I agree completely. You disagree completely. I must agree. You mostly agree. Okay. It would be great to never have to work. Uh -huh. I disagree completely. completely. You disagree completely, right? <laughs> and we, we proved this during COVID, right? Eso lo probamos en la pandemia. Que todos decían, ay, que por qué, que yo quisiera estar en la casa todo el tiempo, que, que, que ay, que no sé qué. Y en la pandemia, sáquenme de aquí. <laughs> so it's difficult, right? It's difficult when uh, you don't have to go to work and do your things. So it's difficult. Teachers have easy jobs. I mostly disagree. What do you think about this? I disagree. I disagree completely. I disagree completely. I disagree completely. It is difficult. It is difficult yeah. to be a teacher. Yeah. 
Yeah, mostly. And I think the most difficult part of being a teacher, at least an English teacher, is in the basic levels, the very, very basic levels, level zero or one. Like at this. No, this is like kind of <laughs> you are going on, on the enjoyable part, right? But the most difficult is the zero or first level. That's the most difficult. The advanced levels are easy because the students can talk. Okay. Ya en los niveles avanzados, cuando ya pueden hablar, es como qué lindo, ¿verdad? hablamos todo. Pero en los iniciales, cuando nadie puede hablar. And you you want to like... kick the students. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was like, who was like, let me see who, who was fighting the other day. I think it was Blanquita <laughs> saying that she wasn't sure. Ah, <laughs> the, the next one. Being a policeman is more dangerous than being a fireman. I disagree completely. Mm. Uh -huh. It's more dangerous to I be a fireman. I disagree completely. I disagree. I mostly disagree. What about in El Salvador? Being a policeman is more dangerous than being a fireman. Yes. I agree completely. A policeman. <laughs> Every company. A policeman. <laughs> Fly attendants have exciting jobs. I Flight completely agree. I disagree completely. <laughs> I agree completely. I disagree completely, I right? I agree completely. I agree completely. Well, it's it's kind of difficult to be on, on, on an airplane all the time. Imagine how boring that uh, maybe the first days is like we the first wee. month. The first month, but then it's like I another time. No, that would be like no. But and the last one, uh huh. I I met I met um um uh, I'm sorry. A flight attendant. <laughs> yeah, a flight a flight attendant, and she told me uh that she loved uh, always to do the work because he doesn't like to be in the same place uh, always. Yeah, she well, always wants uh, to be in a different place, in a different place. And I asked, uh, I asked to her if, he, if she doesn't uh, miss her, her parents, her family. And she said, I love them. And yes, I miss them, but <laughs> I love my work and I prefer to uh, fly to everywhere. Oh, well, you see, to be flying everywhere. I think it, yeah. it must be very exciting. And yeah. the last question, being a bus driver is better than being a taxi driver. Here in El Salvador, <laughs> every bus, bus driver has a lover. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I Okay. I'm, I'm sorry for my comments, but I. <laughs> okay. Ese, ese cojín de la par del asiento mm. tiene dueña. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> which one do you think it's better, a bus driver or a taxi driver? I don't know. Uh huh. I am not sure. I must mostly agree. agree. You mostly agree, I'm not right? Sure. You are not sure. <laughs> I think a taxi driver is best. Yeah, a taxi driver is oh. like more relaxed because you do your job, yeah. you do your time, etc. Right. But a bus driver, you have to go along with the time of the job that you do. Well, my dear students, thank you very much for uh, sharing your answers. That was so nice. So going back to this, we were also talking about the use of for, since, and from, also then and until. Here, oh, I was then here. Okay, let me just change this. Uh, here we have a very short story about uh, Nicole, right? Nicole, who was uh, born in El Salvador, right? And here we have, uh, just to uh, a very quick reminder for it's used with a period of time, since with a specific point in time, from uh, to stay the start and end of time. I stay there from January to November, right? Then is to introduce a new event, a new event in the series. 
I worked in that company until 2011, then I quit. Use until to mark the end of an activity or period of time. I work in Panama until my project was over, right? So here we have a short story about Nicole. And I need one volunteer to help me to read the story. I have the answers on the story already, but I need a volunteer to read it. I would like. Me, teacher. Okay, I will have a Wilbur first and then Blanquita. Go ahead. Nicole was born in San Salvador, San Salvador, 1985. She graduated from UK University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. Since uh, she was a child, she wants to be a manager of a great and import company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man, who, the man who was the manager for almost 50 years retired. Uh, teacher, yeah. uh, here I got to correct or, or read it. No, 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 read, finish, finish everything. And then Blanca is going to read it again. Okay, okay. Almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked he, he worked there since 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday. She loves her job. And she has not worked there long, but her team supports her. Okay, very good job. Thank you, Wilbur. Reactions for Wilbur, please. Very good. Thank you for helping us read. Very good job. Here you have. Thank you very much. Thank you, my dear Wilbur. Blanquita, go ahead. Okay. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from Yucca University. She studied there from 2000 and to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. Since for seven years, since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make these dreams come true, because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. She has not worked, worked there. She has not worked there long, but her team support, supports her. Very good job. Thank you, Blanquita. Thank you. Reactions for Blanquita. Very good job. Thank you. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Here we have, I just mark a couple of words in the paragraph for us to work a little bit on pronunciation. And we have, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985, right? Remember that when you have a date, you can separate it in half and say 1985. If you have after 2000s, you can say, 2005 or 2005, right? 2011 or 2011. The most common is 2011, right? 2015, right? She worked, worked, the past tense. Past tenses are very important. She graduated, she studied, right? She worked in Molsa for seven years. Um, just a quick parenthesis. Did you study the past tense in the previous levels? ¿Ya estudiaron el pasado, oh, yes. los que estuvieron por todos los módulos anteriores? Yes, I, I did. Okay. I think we're going to make a quick review on pronunciation one of these days. Un día de estos les voy a hacer una, una review de la pronunciación para que las sí, refresquen. Sure. Yep. Uh, yo creo que cuando uno va leyendo, um, 
el inconveniente es que uno quiere ir rápido y es ahí donde, donde no sabe dónde hacer el, el work, es ver, ese work, el golpeteo <risa> ese y luego iniciar la otra palabra. Eso creo que es lo difícil, porque creo que todos lo sabemos, pero yeah. ¿cómo it, it is, eso? Ok, eso es, eso es muy importante. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sobrellevamos la cuestión de pronunciación en párrafos o en inglés? Hay un, hay, siempre a todos les digo, este es como el consejo más adecuado a todos. Hay que leer en voz alta. Cuando tenga el chance de practicar lectura, hágala en voz alta. Y ahí se puede usted ir oyendo. En el cerebro uno dice, I work, hasta el, en el cerebro uno lo dice, pero que cuando uno lo está leyendo, uno está, ta, 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 Ajá, so, and it happens. Pero la práctica, la mejor práctica que pueden tener con esto es agarrar un párrafo y leerlo en voz alta. Se pueden grabar leyendo para que ustedes escuchen cómo se escuchan leyendo. Y usted dice, hey, y eso soy yo hablando. Y, mi Dios, mi vida, pobre la gente que me oye. <ríe> so, you can improve, right? You can read it again, you can read it again, you can read it again, and you can improve and practice, okay? And to actually find uh, the pronunciation. There is a good app that you can use. Sorry, sorry, Carlos, I just pressed something there. I will, I will look for it. There is an app that you can use to practice pronunciation, but I will send it to you. It is a very good one. If not, you can practice in the WhatsApp group. You can practice sending audios in the group and we can listen to you and we can correct each other. But that is, an, that is going to be after the practice, okay? So in this case, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985, okay? She graduated from Yuka, 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 from Uka University. Don't say Yuka because it's U. You read the U and then CA, right? From Uka University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful, successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. It is very important when you are reading. Stop on the periods, okay? Aquí tienen el primer punto. Aquí tienen el siguiente. The next one, right here. Then the next one, right here. Then the next one, here. Then the next one goes up to here. The next one here. The next one here. If you have a coma, you make a short stop. Here you have the next stop. And here. And the last one, you have it right here. Donde están todas las marcas verdes, ahí nos vamos a detener. Hasta ahí vamos a leer. So you say, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. And you stop. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then, y aquí tenemos una coma. You make a short stop. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. Since she was a child, you have a coma here. She wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. You stop. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. Esa es la más larga de todas las oraciones. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday. You have a comma. And she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. Cada vez que lean, deténganse en los signos de puntuación. No vamos a leer. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador, in 1985. No. You have to read the complete sentence and then you have to stop in the punctuations, okay? Who wants to give a try? Quien lo quiere intentar así? Me, teacher. 
<laughs> okay, we have Raúl and Aleida. Go ahead. Okay. Ladies first. Aleida, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from, U from UCA University. She studied uh, there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. When she was a child, she wants to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much much uh, to make this uh, to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired his name was gonzalo and he worked there since 2015. today nicole is a successful person she works from monday to saturday and she lost her job she has not worked uh here long she has not worked <laughs> there long, but her team support her. You see? Can the difference? You sound mm -hmm. different. You sound different. Mr. Raul, go ahead. Uh, Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied then from 2000 to uh, 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait for um, to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 50 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. She was not worked there long, but her team supports her. Very good job. Successful, you say successful. She has not worked there. She has not worked there long. and. 2005, okay, 2005. Horacio, go ahead. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years since she was a child. She went to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. Very good job. Thank you, Horacio. Let's practice the past tenses. Studied. She studied. Studied, right? Then uh, the next one, wanted. She wanted, right? You can say wanted or wanted. Both of them. Important. Important. Uh, much, much, retired, retired, uh, worked, successful, uh, Saturday, worked, but, okay? So those are, that is the important thing about reading, right? Eh, la lectura, la práctica de la lectura, la práctica de la entonación, les va a ayudar un montón a no sonar eh, robóticos, a no sonar como que a very Spanish thing, right? You have to practice a lot of pronunciation. You have to practice a lot of reading. You have to exaggerate a little bit, okay? You have to open your mouth and move your lips. Si quieren producir una buena pronunciación, tienen que mover los labios, tienen que abrir la boca. 
because you are not going to be like Nicole was born in San Salvador and she was very from Uca University. No, that's Spanish. Spanish is like that. It's lineal. Spanish is very lineal and you can say a lot without moving your mouth that much. En español me pueden decir 20 frases y no me mueven los labios. Ayer te vi en metro y ni siquiera me viste. Te subiste a la costa y no me hablaste. And you don't move your mouth. But in English, you say, I saw you yesterday in Metro Centro. You went on the bus and you didn't talk to me. So you see, it goes like this in English. Pronunciation matters a lot. So we have practiced a lot of pronunciation today and we're going to keep practicing because my students are always good in pronunciation, okay? You always have good pronunciation and you won't be the difference, okay? Yo siempre ando apoyándolos ahí for you to have good pronunciation. So let's continue here. In this case, right, we were talking about Nicole. Uh, what was Nicole's experience? Who remembers? What was Nicole's experience? Where did she work? Uh -huh. She worked in Mosa. Uh -huh. What was her dream? To became a manager. To be a manager. Be a manager. Yeah. Be what a manager. was what was the name of the previous manager? Gonzalo. 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 And what happened to Gonzalo? Did he die? He retired. He retired. He retired. <laughs> retired. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Si se han fijado que retired is retired. So it was retired. Re <laughs> Recansado. Retired. Okay. Retired. <laughs> retired. Estoy retired. Estoy, estoy recansado. The next one. Tell me, was Nicole good at her job? Was Nicole good at her job? Yes or no? Yes, she was yes. a successful yes. person. She was a successful person, right? She was a successful person. Did she have a good team? Yes. 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 yes, because they supported her. Very good job, right? That is the importance, okay? You have to read, but you have to analyze and you have to remember, okay? ¿Se han fijado que después de que leemos un párrafo yo les hago preguntas del párrafo? Para ver si yes. estamos solo leyendo o si estamos entendiendo lo que estamos leyendo. So, you have to be very analytical, very analytical. Does Nicole work from Monday to Friday? No, Nicole no. works from works, Monday, uh, to Monday to Saturday. Saturday. Monday through Saturday. Very good. So here we have a short conversation between a human resources representative and a new employee. And in this one, we have a lot of questions, right? What are the most, I am going to stop this one. I'm going to stop this one because I want to ask you to produce a little bit of brainstorm. Okay. What are some of the most common questions that you get in human resources when you are getting a new job? What are some of the most common questions that human resources make when you are getting a job? Send me the questions on the messenger, on WhatsApp or on the chat. Send me questions on the chat or on WhatsApp. What are the most common questions that people in human resources make when you are getting a new job? It can be on the interview or when you are doing the paperwork or when you are entering to the company. Puede ser en el chat de Zoom o en el chat de WhatsApp. Go ahead. En el que les se les haga más fácil. <laughs> Very good. Okay, good questions. Mm -hmm. Good questions. Why do I have to hire you? <laughs> because you are hiring. What is your ID number? Good. What do you do? Tell me about yourself. Why do you, why do you want to apply in this company? Why do you want to apply in this company? OK, 
Okay. Tell me about your experience. Very good. You can send it on the chat as well, on WhatsApp. More questions, more questions. Okay, I am getting more, very good. How many time do you have of experience? How much? Porque el tiempo es incontable, right? How much time? How do you see yourself in five years? That's a very good question. How much time do you, how, okay, how much experience do you have? Where, where, where do you saw the offer? Where did you see? Where did you see the offer? What do you? <laughs> okay, in this in this case, Paola is say, why do you want to leave your actual job? What do you leave your actual job? He says like, why? I am going to send it to you. Why do you want? to leave your actual job or why do you want to change tell me about your professional experience that's a very good question some one day someone asks me ask me this question what makes you unique and it was a hard thing to answer, right? What makes you unique? What makes you different from the rest? Okay, so those are common questions that, uh, that you can be asked at the time of a job interview. Why do you want to work here, right? What is your interest on the company? It's another question. Personal references, experience, how did you know about the job? Is some friend of you working here? <laughs> For sure, right? Thank you, Aaron Nilsson. <laughs> if, if he has way or not, because he wants to be, because he wants to work with us. In that case, is Hernan, it's like, why? Why do you want to work with us? Okay, por qué quiere trabajar con nosotros? Why do you want to work with us? Because you are giving jobs, because you are offering jobs, and because it's beneficial, because of the payment, you say. Good. So I am going to share my screen again. And here we have a short interview with human resources, okay? And it says the following. What is your social security number? It's 3456324578654. When were you born? When were you born? Donde naciste? Right? When were you born? No, this is cuando. Cuando naciste? Where did you work? I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA, a bachelor's degree. Do you have- What means BBA? A bachelor's degree. I am going to send it to you on the chat. A bachelor's degree, okay? A bachelor's degree is una licenciatura, right? And if you have in business administration, it's BA, right? Business administration. A bachelor in business administration, that's a BBA. 
Teacher, I have a question. In yep. the case in, in the case of bachelor degree, always we need to put to BB. No, no, no. No, Only in this B A or, or, a or B -A. B A. Just a B A. Okay. A -A. Uh huh. Just a B A. In this case, because it's in business. Right? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, it's in, in business administration. But you have a, for example, if I say I have a BA in languages, right? So that's the only thing that you have. I have a BA in administration. I have a BA in what? Accounting, right? Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. <laughs> Poor people. I think el ciento uno por ciento de todo mundo. It has hypertension. Estoy bien. El ojo. Here, what is the first question, people? Can you help me with the first question? What is your social security number? What is your social security number, Paola? It's three, four, five, six, three. Two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. Very good. Horacio, the next question. Well, where are you born? Very good. Blanca, the answer. I worked in Molsa. I was born. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry. I was born on July 1st. Very good. Uh, Carlos Eduardo, the next question. What do you work? Nelson. I work in Molsa. Rafael, the next question. What did you do there? Eric Jose. I was the evening manager. Magdiel, the next question. When did you work there? Ellen Nielsen. From 2005 to 2011. Jose Luis. Do you have a university diploma? Aleida. Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Rafael. Rafael Alexander. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Hernan? Yes, I do. I have a hypertension. <laughs> hypertension, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have hypertension. Good, very good. Okay. Hey, you see, huh? a todos los agarren a vuelta. Por si no estaban poniendo atención. Todos están. <laughs> okay, good. Let me see. I need. I need. Let's see, Carlita. Interview Horacio. Carlita Flores, Carlita Flores, there you go. Dígame, teacher. Interview Horacio. You have to interview him with the questions that we have here. What is your social security? Security number. It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. The next question. question. Yeah, two more questions. Uh, when were you born? I was born on October first. Where did you work? I work in didactica. What did you what did you do there? I was the business manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a MBA. No BBA, no. BBA. Okay. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. <laughs> For real, or you are, you are using the, the example? 
in my case ya ya yo creo que es el 101% de todos los salvadoreños ya no, si el estrés no me ha hecho nada <laughs> you said, yeah, hypertension. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, excellent, Horacio, that you were giving real examples. Very good job. Okay, Mr. Eric, interview Nelson, please. <clears throat> what is your social security number? It's 75321. When were you born? Born. Born. When were you born? When were you born? I was born on August first. Uh, where do Where do you work? I work. I worked in Banco Azul. What did you do there? Uh, nothing. <laughs> yes. It's a lie. <laughs> okay. Sorry. A Banco Azul le gusta esto. <laughs> okay. Um, when did you work there? Uh, from July. Um, July of this year. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yo llegando al Banco Azul. <laughs> well, yes. Or the fusion. Okay. And uh, the next question, Eric. Uh, do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a engineering. Okay. I have a, a well, yeah, an engineering degree. Okay. Engineering degree. Okay, thank you. Do you have any chronic medical condition? No, I don't. No, I don't have. No yet. Yes. No yet. <laughs> no, no yet. Very no. good job. No, no, no. Thank you very much. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, my dear students. Okay, um, and uh, so in this case, as you can see, these are the most common questions. You have to be ready to answer this type of questions. For example, if I ask you right now, tell me your Dewey number. That's something that you need to know, right? It's like, espéreme, lo voy a buscar. No, it's something that you need to know, you need to manage it. Memory. Yes, mm -hmm. you have to know it by heart, you say. In English, you say, I have to know this by heart. By heart by is heart. the memoria, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, if I if I tell you, for example, what is your cell phone number? Many people say, let me check, and they see on the phone for their number, right? <laughs> Imagínense antes que todo lo teníamos que saber así, porque si no, no se podía. O andaban como una libretita de apuntes. So, <laughs> we used to have a, a little notebook with numbers, right? Anotame tu número, le decíamos a la gente. Y ahora, what is the what's? Agrégame en WhatsApp y ya ni siquiera se guardan, sino que con el QR se, se agregan. So impersonal. So, uh, for example, personal information, previous job, right? The things that you did there, how long did you work, if you have a university diploma or not, and for sure, uh, human resources is going to ask you about the chronic medical disease, if you have or not. This example that I have here, it's a very common application for employment, right? And it has many different things, right? If you have your book and if you have uh, the PDF where you can write, you can fill it up, okay? Si tienen el, el PDF donde lo pueden editar, le pueden ir llenando con su nombre, right? The different uh, categories, right? The date, the position that you are applying for, it's like el puesto al que vas a aplicar, your name, your address, right? The most common mistake in the applications, the first names and the last names. Siempre hay veces que le piden eh, last names first and you put your first names. That's a very common mistake. And then you say like, no, we don't have another form. You ruin it, you ruin it, right? Your address, your phone number, your sex, if you are male or female, right? The date of birth, right? 
the day, the month, and the year, the social security number or the DUI number in our case, the driver's license if you have a yes or no, right? The employment history is the places that you have worked before. You have to put the most recent and then you have to go back, right? You don't have to start with the first one. You have to put the most recent and then the next one. Education, the degree, the institution and the date, right? When did you study there? So if you have the opportunity to fill up this in your manual, right? Si lo abren en PDF y tienen la versión editable, así como, eh, como la tengo yo que puedo escribir en él, it would be good if you fill it up, right? With your information. This is a very, a very good form of application with your most uh, common information, okay? And the last activity that we have for today, it's a reading, right? In this one, you are going to, we're going to learn about five requirements of the perfect manager. What are some of the most important things that in your opinion are necessary to be a good leader? ¿Qué tiene que tener un buen líder? Let's see. Opinions. What are some of the most important things that you need to have in a leader? or in a person in charge? How does it have to be? Si lo tuviéramos que armar, ¿qué le pondrían? I will say organized. He need to give, give us uh, support to another, to, yeah, to another person or, okay. or their team. Okay, supportive, right? Support. Organized, supportive. What else? It needs to be empathic. Empathic, right? Empathic, good. What else? You need to be patient. Patient, right? In a multitasking person. Patient and multitasking, good. What else? Motivation. Okay, he needs to motivate the team. Good. What else? He needs to be more human. Okay. Kind-hearted, right? Kind-hearted is like human. Kind-hearted, de buen corazón. Okay, what else? Do you think that... Temp temper okay, temperamental? Mm. Mm. No. no, what, what is the one that you want to no. say? Temperance. Okay, ¿a qué te, a qué te quieres referir? Eh, templanza. Ah, okay, templanza. I think, well, in that case, it's kind of difficult to mark it out because let me, let me find an, an adjective for that. Because templanza es actuar con la cabeza fría en situaciones difíciles. Yes. Teacher, think, uh -huh. this person needs to be a lead. A leader, good. He needs to be a good leader. What else? Does he need to be uh, friendly? Temperance, say temperance. I think that's the word that you were saying, temperance. Does he need to be friendly, people? Tiene que ser amigable, yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah. I always say that a leader has to be friendly, but not a friend, because that's yeah. a problem. Yeah. Because if you are if you are the friend of your team, it will be like, hey, hombre amigo, ¿qué pasa? Yo, yo. Ajá. So it has to be friendly, nice, but with limits, right? Okay, good. Does he or she need to be handsome or beautiful? Yes, you. <laughs> 
Does the leader has to be handsome? Tiene que ser guapo o guapa. No necessarily. Not necessarily. So you see, those are things that are just on the outside. Maybe he's a very handsome man, but he has an ugly personality. Or she's a very beautiful girl with a, an ugly heart. So you have to be very careful with that. So five tips to be a very good manager. And here we have the ones that we have on the book. Today we are going to do an overview of them. And tomorrow we are going to go in deep on this. Before I forget, I am going to call the attendance. Before I forget, I'm going to call the attendance. Yo estoy que la pongo, la quito, la pongo, la quito. Come on. Teacher, decida, se dígame. Okay, okay, okay. Ay, my God. Siempre se me, se me cae. Okay, here I go. Oh, I see. Sorry, my dear class. Here I go. Aleida? Here, teacher. Andrea Sofía? Bueno, present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo. Here teacher. César Romero. Ellen Nilsson. Present teacher. Okay, Ellen Nilsson, we're going to stay today for a couple of minutes at the end of the class, okay? Uh, I don't know. I, can I skip this tonight? Okay, you don't have time to do it tonight. Yeah. Okay, so he, he's in a hurry. Okay, so we're going to jump in the next one. Let me see who's the next one. Eh, Eric Jose? No, pues, pues no. Sorry? Uh, no, no, esta vez no. <laughs> okay, igual este, los, todos se van a quedar una vez eh, eh, en el ratito, pero bueno, son como siete minutos. <laughs> okay. So let's see who's the next one. If not, I can stay with, with any of you. Don't worry. Let me see. Uh, I go with Hernan Antonio. Hello. Hernan Antonio, uh, tiene chance para quedarse hoy al final de la clase, unos siete minutitos. Okay. Okay. Horacio José. Here. Thank you. Jose Luis. Here. Eh, Juan Francisco. Carla Guadalupe. Sí, teacher. Nelson Alberto. Here. Paola Elena. Rafael Alexander. Sí, Thank you. Here, teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present, teacher. Raúl Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Wilber Alberto. Present, teacher. Jasmine Elizabeth. And Magdiel So. Okay. So, uh, let me see. So, in this case, Ellen Nilsson will be tomorrow and Eric will be on Wednesday. Okay. Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Magdiel. So, let's continue here. I have it right here. Okay. The reading. The five important tips about a, a perfect manager. The first one is be a people person. What do you think is the meaning of people person? ¿Qué creen ustedes que significa a people person? I think an accessible person. An accessible person, right? Accessible. A person who enjoys being with people. That is a people person, right? Que cuando llega un grupo, it's like, it's the light of the group, right? That it's a good manager. Be a good communicator, right? Be a good communicator. That's the next one. The next one, be technically proficient. That it's another tip. Encourage teamwork and lead by example, right? Lead by example. Those are the five most important things of a manager. What is the meaning of be a people person? We're going to read right now. It says, be a people person. I need you to follow me on the reading, but with your microphone off, okay? Todos vamos a leer, solo que con el micrófono apagado para que no nos escuchemos todos y yo lo voy a leer en voz alta, okay? 
It says, be a people person. Noxod is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Clinton better than English, you are not a good fit for all managerial team. The next one. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and their team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide a status information when asked. Be technically proficient. The products we create at Nordocs are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C, uh, C I don't remember the C number. C -sharp. Hashtag. C hashtag. C sharp. <laughs> It, it, that's a type of coding, a type of program, but I don't remember how it's the name. It, it, C, C numeral. <laughs> but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet or the March of Penguins does not qualify as technical proficiency in Linux. Yeah, you know what's Happy Feet like? La película del pingüino? Linux, it's marked by a penguin, so that's why it's like. So watch Happy Feet or the, mar the March of Penguins is not something proficient in Linux. Number four, encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important, are not dogs. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors are not dogs for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. I like that. And the last one, lead by example. The best managers lead by example. Are not docs, all managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontif uh, pontificating and doing the right thing. So lead by example. You are going to be exactly the same as all the others. Do you consider that these five points are appropriate for a good manager? ¿Le gustan estos cinco puntos para que los apliquen en sus gerentes? Yes, I like it, teacher. Yeah, I will apply this to my managers, right? <laughs> In fact, my door is a glass door. So I always say, like, mi puerta siempre ahí me van a ver. In, in, my, in the place that I work, in el, en el centro de aprendizaje donde trabajo, I said, I want my door to be glass, a glass door. So everybody can actually see that I am there. And they go and say like, they chat <laughs> on the glass door. <laughs> so <laughs> it's very common. Para mí es bien común ver a los niños al otro lado de la puerta. They chat, <laughs> looking for me. <laughs> so these are the five things to be a good manager. I need you please to read them a little bit, practice pronunciation, Nordox is the name of the company, right? This is the name of the company. Uh, this one that you have here, Nord, Norx, I think it's Norx, Norxod, something like that. It's a quite, quite complicated name. That's the name of the company. So uh, these are the five things that they mark as the good points to be a good leader. After this one, after this little reading, we have a true and false little exam, okay? La asignación para mañana va a ser que lo volvamos a leer, 
you can read it on your manual and you can say true or false on the different sentences. So you have them ready for the class tomorrow. Okay, my dear students, uh, stretch up a little bit because we are over, right? It's done, another night, it's over. Okay. Yes, teacher. Have a beautiful night. I am going to see you tomorrow for your next class. I really appreciate your time and participation. Thank you very much, my dear students. I am just going You're to stay. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher. I will Thank stay you. for Bye. this Bye. Few Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. I will Bye. stay with Bye. Hernan. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, see you tomorrow my dear students. Bye-bye. Take care. Do your homework. Bye-bye. Hernan, okay. I will stay with you for six minutes. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Carlita. Um, bye. Okay, teacher. Bye, bye. Okay, so, Mr. Hernan. Eh, sí. Tengo, tengo una, una inquietud. Dígame. Cuando... Yo veo cierta simbología en la pronunciación, como unos apóstrofes que vienen como unas eh, letras invertidas. Entonces, eh, no sé si esa simbología, yo sé que tiene que ver con la pronunciación, pero eh, ¿cómo interpretar esa simbología? O sea, ¿qué significa? Ok, ¿usted la ha visto en los diccionarios, me imagino? Sí, sí, Ajá. en diccionarios. Those are the sounds. Esos son los sonidos, los sonidos de las palabras. So that is kind of a little bit of pronunciation because, eh, okay, en, en la cuestión del idioma también tenemos una parte que es una parte de pronunciación que es la que marca los sonidos de las palabras. Entonces ahí tenemos la schwa, que es como los sonidos de las letras y es, es todo, un, es todo un, un alfabeto que va acompañado de eso. Entonces cada símbolo tiene un sonido específico. Por ejemplo, dónde se coloca la lengua, cómo se pronuncia y todo. Cuando uno va como conociendo este tipo de, de simbología, entonces ahí es donde uno se va, se va este, haciendo más familiar con esta parte de la pronunciación. Eso sirve mucho para saber cómo se pronuncian las palabras. Casi siempre si usted busca una palabra traducida, le salen los simbolitos a la par, ¿verdad? Sí, Pero es sí. cómo se pronuncia. Entonces, esa es una parte bien importante que la podemos ir conociendo. Le voy a, creo que tengo todavía por ahí en, en, mis, en mis apuntes guardados el, el, como el alfabeto de la pronunciación y los diferentes sonidos para que lo vayan conociendo. Es un mundo bastante grande, un poco bastante complicado, pero eh, no es como muy difícil. A la par en el diccionario siempre tiene, quiero ver si tengo un diccionario por aquí. Quiero ver... Sí, eh, en los diccionarios que lo he notado, eh, pero yo me he quedado, o sea, como queriendo interpretar, eh, o sea, ¿qué significa eso? La sí, son los de... sonidos, en realidad, son los, es, es el, el, la marca del sonido, es la marca del sonido. Ajá. Salen como unas comas, como unos apóstrofes y me imagino que debe ser donde tengo que hacer la entonación. O, o Ajá, es como donde se hace como la fuerza de voz, donde se para con la palabra. Y este, sí, pero cabal, eso es, eso es un poquito complicado de mucho, de mucho estudio, de mucho repaso, conocer cada uno de los sonidos. Eso es más que todo, ¿vale? por ejemplo, eh, todos los maestros, los que han estudiado pues, los idiomas, eh, los reconocen pues, y dicen uno, ah, esa es la pronunciación, y va como con S, con Y, con la, la fuerza de voz aquí. Y entonces es como el, el, la parte de los... ¿Se acuerdan el video que les compartí? No sé si lo vieron. Sí, de la, de la Shoah, ahí mencionaba. Ajá. Una, sí, más que todo de pronunciaciones. Todos esos son fonemas, que son como los sonidos específicos de las palabras. ¿verdad? El fonema, los fonemas de la A, la E, la I, la O, la U, como los ocupamos en las diferentes palabras. Y ahí vas como una pequeña introducción a estos sonidos. Que, por ejemplo, eh, cuando decimos que umbrella, cómo ponemos la boca, cómo ponemos eh, la, la pronunciación, que no es umbrella, sino que es umbrella, with a, with a umbrella. Entonces, esas son las cosas que nos pueden ir ayudando. También conocer un poco de la pronunciación, un poco de los sonidos, es muy bueno porque le va a ayudar a limpiar su pronunciación en el idioma. Entonces, Hernán, eh, voy a, le voy a compartir eso, le voy a compartir igual a, a Carlita, el... 
de, lo, de los diccionarios los diferentes sonidos y cómo se utilizan en las palabras. Es un poco más técnico, eso no es algo que usted va a escribir, ah, okay. por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, que le vayan a decir en el idioma, mire, escríbame esta palabra en sonido. ¿verdad? Nunca va a pasar, eso téngalo por seguro que nunca le va a suceder. Que no le va a decir, ¿con qué fonema pronuncias tal palabra? No, lo que le van a, lo que sí, mucha gente pone atención es cómo usted pronuncia, qué sonido le da, qué entonación le da a las palabras. Si usted entona bien, si usted le pone la pronunciación correcta a la palabra. Una palabra muy, muy común, por ejemplo, la palabra important. Mucha Import. gente dice important. 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 Es important. Right? So, important. Important. With the, important. The, okay. Right? It's in the middle of the word, right? You don't say important or important. It's important. Pero ahí para saber dónde lleva la fuerza, porque como hay una parte donde se lleva la fuerza para... Ajá. Como, ajá. Entonces, como lastimosa, lastimosamente, no es como el español que... Una que tenemos tilde. Brújula, una aguda, una sobredrújula, o sea, una grave Yo sé dónde puedo tildarlo, dónde puedo hacer la fuerza, pero en el... En Exactamente. Inglés, en, inglés, en inglés no tenemos tildes. Y ahí es donde entra mucho, mucho, mucho el, el listening donde usted tiene que poner mucha atención, mucha atención a la pronunciación. Si tiene alguna duda de una palabra, yo lo que siempre les digo a los chicos, si tienen alguna duda de una palabra, vamos, busquémosla en, en internet. How do you pronounce? Y ponemos la palabra. How do you pronounce eh, chocolate? Y ponemos ahí en internet. Y en internet le salen un montón de videos de cómo pronunciar las palabras. Si usted tiene duda en una sola palabra, siempre búsquela. Siempre búsquela. Sí. Porque este, a veces uno dice, no es que yo le he oído así, yo le he oído así, yo le he oído así. Pero siempre hay que buscarle. Si tenemos la duda, yo lo que siempre les digo, aún, imagínense yo, con este montón de años de, de, de estar en el idioma, siempre, si tengo alguna duda, me voy y la busco mejor. A veces o me voy al diccionario o me voy a algún video y busco la pronunciación. Porque eso funciona bastante. Porque en inglés no tenemos tildes. No sabemos no. dónde va como... La sí. tilde, esto, aquí le voy a poner fuerza, aquí no le voy a poner fuerza. ¿verdad? Eso es muy, muy importante. Otra cosa importante, por ejemplo, if you watch videos, put watch the subtitles. Si usted ve videos, ponga los subtítulos en inglés, ponga el audio en inglés. For you to listen to the word and to see the, the, the written form. Así puede ir, viendo la, puede ir viendo cómo se escribe y puede escuchar la palabra. Porque a veces uno dice, voy a ver películas en inglés. Ajá, pero no le pone subtítulos. Entonces, ¿cómo va, cómo va a, a, a ir como haciendo la comparación de lo que van diciendo? Es un poco más complicado. Pero, pero subtítulos en, en inglés. En siempre. inglés, obviamente. En inglés, sí. English subtitles, right? Okay. English okay. subtitles, all the time. Eh, si tiene la oportunidad de ver, eh, de qué, de escuchar artículos en inglés ir leyendo el artículo también al mismo tiempo sirve mucho, si tiene la oportunidad también de tener audiolibros funciona un montón porque ahí también va escuchando la pronunciación y va viendo la, la lectura y se va familiarizando mucho con muchas palabras nuevas, esos son como algunos de los tips que nos pueden ayudar mucho en pronunciación eh, Carlita, alguna duda algún comentario que tengas en mi caso teacher a mí me cuesta un eh... Yo sé que me tengo que quitar esto de, 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 de tratar de traducir, porque eso es lo, lo que a mí me, nos decían en las clases anteriores. Ajá. No tenemos que traducir, que tenemos que quitarnos eso de traducir. Pero, o sea, yo, yo veo las oraciones, pero, pero yo tengo que traducir porque si no, yo, yo no sé qué estoy leyendo. O sea, yo lo puedo, yo lo puedo interpretar de otra manera. Eso le, eso le estaba comentando en la clase pasada a un compañero, no sé si fue con Rafael, entonces yo le digo, pero, pero ¿qué dice esa, esa pregunta? Le digo, porque a mí me cuesta. Entonces yo veo que mis compañeros fácil lo, lo, lo pueden, ellos captar la, la idea de, de lo que se está leyendo, pero a mí eso es lo que me cuesta. Siempre todavía eso que, va a pasar la sí, es, Eso es lo que a mí me está ahorita, me está costando bastante. Ok, mire Carlita, eso es, eso, eso es una cosa bien difícil de quitar, pero el hecho de ir como agarrando más vocabulario le puede ir sirviendo para que el hecho de que usted vaya traduciendo menos. 
por ejemplo, si a usted le gusta eh, traducir y todo, vaya, vaya coleccionando su vocabulario. Y una vez que usted ya tenga más conocimiento de más palabras en inglés, se le va a hacer menos el hecho de estar traduciendo, porque va a decir, ah, ya, ya esto ya sé qué significa, ¿verdad? Entonces, ir conociendo más el vocabulario, más allá de irlo traduciendo. Entonces, uh -huh. al ir conociendo más vocabulario, al ir conociendo frases completas, oraciones completas, le puede servir mucho más que el hecho de, de ser así como las palabritas solas, ¿verdad? Entonces... Uh -huh. Yo siempre les digo, busquen frases en inglés, váyanse empapando un montón de frases, un montón de, eh, de información en inglés, pero párrafos completos, ¿verdad? no solo de palabras, porque hay mucha gente que busca solo palabras. Solo de palabras. Ajá, eh, y entonces ahí metemos la traducción otra vez. ¿verdad? Así uh -huh. como esta frase significa esto, esta frase significa esto otro. Ir como familiarizándose más con frases completas, oraciones completas, y eso le va a ir ayudando a traducir un poco menos. También... Uh, when you write, for example, you can have a notebook and you can write information, right? Puedes ir armando tu día a día y armar en la noche, por ejemplo, este día fue así, así, y ir como contando tu día in English, for sure, pero eso te va a ir ayudando a ir pensando en inglés, ¿ya? Ir armando como tu, tu journal o tu diario al final. Entonces pones ahí, vea, today was a good day, I did this, 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 and this, I did this other thing, I like this and this from my day, I didn't like this one. Entonces vas haciendo como ese tu diario todos los días. Entonces eso te va a ir ayudando a ir armando ya las frases en inglés sin tanto irlas pensando en español. Entonces es un poco más de práctica, ¿ves? Es como un poco ir, irse forzando a, a hacer cosas más en inglés, hacer tus cosas en inglés, poner tu teléfono en inglés, eh, poner tus cosas ahí, lo que haces en el día a día en inglés, todo lo que tengas alrededor. Irte metiendo más en el, en el idioma y ahí eso te va a ir ayudando a, a ir sacando un poquito la traducción del día a día. Okay. Well, my dear students, thank you very much for joining me in these last minutes of the class. Thank you for yes. staying with me and thank you for these pieces of advice. I am going to look for ways to help you, okay? So okay. have a very good night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class, okay. my okay. dear thank students. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.